As you can see, it's beautiful out here in Mississippi. It's like 60 degrees and leaves everywhere. I love it. But I wanted to kick off day four of the 25 days of Christmas. My battery's almost dead, so I'm gonna try to rush through this. I drew today a, a jewelry business. So if it's the holiday season and I'm really trying to focus on something that's gonna, you know, draw me some good return during the holidays, that could be hard. You know, like I said before, um, you know, we're vying for a lot of people's attention. You know, when it comes to Christmas time, you can't really uh, nail down one specific consumer that's shopping a lot because you know you got uh, sons buying stuff for their moms, wives, girlfriends. You got uh, parents buying stuff for their teens. Uh, you know, maybe getting their son a new watch, maybe getting their daughter some new earrings, maybe getting their ears pierced, maybe you know getting a nice little pendant. I don't know. There's just all kinds of things, you know, promise rings and stuff that we could really focus on. My wife just had her birthday yesterday, so. Um, you know, I might swing in there. It's, it's the holiday season, I'm, but I may not even be shopping for the holidays. So I'm really sitting here thinking, you know, what for a jewelry business, what's the highest return? Uh, what, what type of customer gives me the highest return? And obviously you can make a lot of money. You can make a thousand dollars for somebody just walking into the store. But for me, it always comes down to that uh, marriage proposal, right? That a uh, person is going to come in, spend five to $10,000 on a ring. Uh, and then that husband, potentially that husband uh, or wife, most cases the husband's gonna continue to go to that store if they had a good experience or they really liked the person that they dealt with or they trusted that person, their wife loved the ring, right? Um, they're gonna keep coming back to that person for good ideas, suggestions, feedback, uh, and options, right, to, to buy the best gift. Um, so I, I think that would probably be the best thing to focus on during the holidays. And I, I don't know as if a lot of jewelry businesses or companies uh, Jeweler, jewelers do this already during the holidays anyways because I've never worked with a jeweler but for me I'm, I'm thinking if I'm gonna spend you know five ten twenty thousand dollars on some sort of campaign to draw some good awareness and uh, some loyalty right uh, obviously some return but you want to drive awareness and loyalty as well with all your campaigns during the holidays because what that does is drive residual over time so you know somebody works with me gets a good strategy and then they're gonna probably call me later on down the road to get me some to get some feedback from me on something else that they're probably doing it's about building that trust so this you know engaging is probably the biggest opportunity to do that um, or engagement I guess is the biggest opportunity to build engagement uh, and so I always like to lean on authenticity I think that's what touches people the most especially during the holiday season what's a story or a moment in time that can really resonate with people especially women right I think that's something that feeling aspect not to say it's, uh, you know, men can't have feelings, but women obviously, you know, are in their emotions a little bit more than men. <laughs> Maybe not anymore these days, but uh, we won't go there. So I'm thinking, you know, if you have all these different stories of uh, different women, different backgrounds, right? That's important. Not race, you know, because I'm not, I'm not really big on the race baiting stuff or the differentiation based on color of skin. You know, why don't we focus more on color of shoes, right? Or color of house or color of the weather you know whether it's a beautiful blue day or a cloudy day like this um, leaves on the ground let's see if I, you can see my view here this is beautiful right? it's my back patio leaves on the ground or maybe oceanfront property right maybe we're de we got a place with some snow right now maybe a place that's a little bit more tropical that's how we create differentiation but have as many different women as we can telling their story about how their husband went about proposing to him um, we're not we don't want to focus on the ring the jewelry itself yet till the very end but we want to to have this in these engaging conversations you know really close up pictures of these women in intimate settings uh in different places uh, in different attire different cultures not different races uh different ages age groups right you have a young woman um that's really vibrant and in an older woman that's really wise you know this is how we depict different um target audience and we could try to like I was talking about in my last video we could try to cast a wide net approach uh, where you're <clears throat> trying to catch as many different fish as you can with the same message of the proposal um, and I know I'm speeding through this so hopefully I'm not losing anybody but basically we're gonna create a commercial for a jeweler that's uh, ooh, we got some Sun coming through the trees here it's beautiful I look good huh? um, that was conceited but uh, that's that we're gonna catch all these different women in these different types of moments telling their different type of story about the way their different type of husband proposed to them um, it's all the same type of love falling in love uh, captivating a woman um, with 
with the, the proposition itself, uh, with the experience. Um, and you know, what we're really trying to do is, is maybe paint the picture here, communicate that uh, it caused the woman, uh, it caused the recipient, you know, I don't wanna just say man and woman here, I guess, but um, it caused her to melt. It caused her to forget everything about Christmas. You know, what, what presents did she get during Christmas? What experiences did she have? The only thing that she remembers is that proposal, right? That's big time. Um, you know, and then bring in the husband at the end, have him sit down in the chair with them or wherever the setting may be and have them looking at each other, you know, rekindling that moment, uh, cherishing that moment in time where they decided to be one, right? Where they decided to start their new life. Um, and they trusted the jeweler and they found exactly what they needed and the thing that they got their wife or their spouse uh, was just what they were looking for, that they couldn't say no, right? And these are the types of memories that we want to depict. And it happened during the holidays, right? Um, again, snow on the ground, maybe it's at the beach, maybe it's just leaves like this, maybe there's a bunch of family, maybe it's an intimate moment. How many ways can we depict the holidays of a loving moment of a new start of somebody else's life that um, another man might be gearing up to kick off, right? Now, how do we give him some extra ideas? How do we give him the encouragement to go through with it? I was nervous, he was so nervous. I didn't know if I was gonna say yes, I probably, you know, messed up the day before, the weeks before I discouraged him. And how do we get this man to go by the ring, to get going, to have come up with a plan, right? And to, to uh, elicit or, or uh, to solicit an expert of jewelry um, to elicit advice. So I think that would be a really cool thing to do. Um, and, you know, find a way to track it, how many people in engage with it, how many people are sharing it. Uh, are people leaving somebody's name in a comment section? Is that somebody that's maybe getting ready to propose? Uh, how are you getting people to sign up? Uh, are they going on to a landing page? Are they subscribing to your content? Maybe you have a couple different uh, variations of the commercial to kind of build a different campaign about about it uh, on different uh, channels. You know, you can have uh, 30 second videos of each woman on social media and in a full commercial of them all, one minute to two minutes for, you know, primetime television, however big the business may be. And then uh, find out how you want to map out the landing page, how you want to garner uh, uh, your uh, submissions. Of course. Losing quality, of course. Um, how do you want to go about organizing your submissions? Uh, where do you want to route them on the site? What other relevant uh, messaging can you add to it? How do we create service pages for this? Uh, you know, landing pages additionally, how do you create a service page or funnel them to the service page for engagements or wedding rings or wedding bands or, or whatever the case may be. Um, and then how do you maybe, you know, create a library, you create a library page on your website and then track what are people submitting information? Uh, are they calling? Are they doing forms? Are they sharing it? Are they just walking in saying that they heard about it? They didn't love the commercial. Find ways to measure it, see how it works. And then, uh, you know, it could end up being something that you do every single year uh, where you have different couples that you end up, you know, they become influences for your brand or uh, they become, uh, what you what would you call it, uh, brand champions or uh, those that are um, affirming, what's, what's it called, affiliates even, or supporters, <laughs> advocates, that's the word I'm looking for, advocates of your business, you know, it, it maybe incentivizes people hey i'm gonna i'm gonna be on tv or i'm gonna be on this person's social media feed that i want to tell my story you know how many how many ways can we go about maximizing the campaign maximizing the reach making sure the people that are involved well are super authentic but excited about what they're doing it's not forceful um, and then the message is cohesive uh, in as many different ways as we can communicate it so i'm just rambling now but be purposeful with everything you do guys if you're going to propose this year good luck and always remember to pre-focus